Hello students, uh, myself Mehul Kodiya from LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed about some uh, equation of the geometric transformation and in today's session we have to solve one or two numerical based on homogeneous geometric transformation. So in today's session we have to discuss numerical based on homogeneous transformation matrix. Before that you have to remember all the equation of the homogeneous transformation matrix like first equation for the translation. Translation means you have to move any of the object from one place to another place and we derive one equation for the translation in 3 cross 3 matrix like 1 0 0 0 1 0 Tx, Ty and 1. That is the equation of the translation. Tx and Ty indicate translation in x axis and Ty indicate translation in y axis. Same way, what is the equation of scaling? That is Sx 0 0 0 Sy 0 0 0 1. Sx indicates scaling in x axis, Sy indicates scaling in y axis. Clear? Same way, what is the equation of uh, uh, homogeneous transformation matrix for the rotation? For the anti-clockwise rotation, that is cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1, where theta indicates the angle of rotation. And same way, we derive equation of the mirroring or reflection about x axis and y axis. For the uh, solve this numerical, we have to use all these equation. Clear? Now, example number 1. A triangle ABC which vertices A 32, 22, B 88, 20 and C 32, 82 is to be scaled by factor of 0 0.6 about point X 50, 42 determine the coordinate of vertices for this scale triangle. Okay. So in this numerical we have one triangle ABC. Now we have to scale this triangle point and scale scaling factor of for this triangle that is 0 0.6 now you all know if value of scaling factor is less than 1 at that time the size of triangle is reduced and scaling factor value is 0 0.6 means sx and sy value of scaling factor in x axis and value of scaling factor in y axis is 0 0.6 and we have to scale this triangle about point x 50 comma 42 Clear. And we already discussed in last session if we have to scale any of the triangle about particular point. So at that time we have to shift that particular point to the origin. After we shift that triangle to the origin, then after we have to perform scaling over that object, then after we have to shift again its original position. Clear. This is the simple procedure that already we discussed in our last lecture. Okay. So what is the given data? Sx is equal to Sy is equal to 0 0.6. Value of scaling factor is given 0 0.6. Scaling about point x. Now scaling about point x means we have to shift x point to the origin. Now value of uh, coordinate that is 50,42 means if we have to move x point to the origin so we have to move in x axis minus 50 and in y axis we have to move minus 42 clear at that time x point is coming on the origin point clear so first translate object to the origin clear so first we have to translate this object to the origin then scale object clear after that we have to scaling and then translate back this scale object Clear? Means uh, we have to again shift this triangle to its actual position. Clear? So we have to, for, to perform total three operations. First, we have to move this triangle to the origin that is translation process. After that, we have to do scaling that is second process. And third process, again we have to translate the triangle. Total three process we have to perform in this numerical like this. Clear? So here triangle A dash, B dash, C dash indicate new point, new coordinates of the triangle. Triangle EBC that is the actual point. Now three procedure. T indicate translation means we have to translate the triangle to the origin. S indicate scaling matrix and T inverse indicate inverse translation. Clear? So we have to perform total three process. Triangle ABC that is actual triangle. T indicate we have to translate object to the origin and S means we have to perform scaling and T inverse means we have to do again translation. Clear? 
so triangle abc so we have the uh, coordinates of the triangle abc so write down over here 32 22 1 because all the matrix in 3 cross 3 format so that's why we consider as a z coordinate or as a homogeneous coordinate as a 1 so 32 22 1 88 21 and c coordinate 32 82 1 so this is the triangle abc now first process that is translation what is the equation of translation 1 0 0 0 1 0 tx ty 1 tx means translation in x axis ty means translation in y axis so write down that equation over here 1 0 0 0 1 0 now tx means translation in x axis now we have to do scaling about point x and coordinate of x point that is 5 0 comma 42 so we have to shift that point to the origin so coordinate of x that is 5 0 comma 42 so we have to translate this point to the origin that's why we have to move in x axis minus 50 and y axis minus 42 unit clear so translation in x axis that is minus 50 and translation in y axis that is minus 42 1 so this is the uh, equation of the translation now s indicates scaling now in example a scaling factor is given that is 0 0.6 and what is the equation of scaling sx 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 1 and we have value of scaling factor that is 0 0.6 so put in instead of sx and sy 0 0.6 so equation is 0 0.6 0 0 0 0 0 0.6 0 0 0 1 clear and last that is inverse translation means the uh, scaling about point x and coordinate of x that is 5 0 comma 42 first we shift this point to the origin now again we have to shift this point to its actual position means again we have to move that point to the 50 unit in x axis and 42 unit in y axis so you have to write down equation of translation over here 100010 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, tx ty 1 and instead of tx ty you have to write down 50 and 42 for translate this object to its translate this point to its actual position so this is the syntax of the example now you have to just do the matrix multiplication now you have to follow in matrix multiplication you have to follow the backward direction means you have to first multiply last two matrix so first two matrix you have to write down as it is clear triangle a dash b dash c dash is equal to first two matrix you have to write down as it is and you have to multiply last two matrix clear so in this case we multiply first two matrix as it is like 32 22 1 88 21 32 82 1 and second matrix for the translation write down as it is 1 0 0 0 1 0 minus 50 minus 42 and 1 and you have to multiply last two matrix and as you all know what the, uh, how to multiply two matrix like uh, first you have to consider first row of first matrix and first column of second matrix clear so you have to multiply first row and first column of last two matrix so what is first row that is 0 0.6 0 0 and what is first column of last matrix that is 1 0 50 clear so you have to multiply first row first column clear so 0 0.6 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 50 clear so answer is 0 0.6 so what is the answer of the first value that is 0 0.6 clear now you have to multiply first row first matrix and second column of second matrix means first row second column clear 0 0.6 into 0 0 into 1 and 0 into 42 so answer is 0 so put 0 over second value and third value what is third value first row and third column 0 0.6 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 1 so answer is 0 so you have to follow same procedure again for the second row of first matrix clear in second row first column second row second column second row third column and you will get the answer 0 0 0.6 and 0 same way you have to follow this procedure for the third row of first matrix third row first column third row second column and third row third column and you will get all the answer like 50 42 and 1
clear so this is the matrix multiplication of last two matrix now again now you have a three matrix so again you have to write uh, multiply last two matrix so write down first matrix as it is clear so 32 22 1 88 21 32 82 1 clear so you have to write down first matrix as it is and multiply last two matrix clear so last two matrix multiply and you all know how to multiply two matrix clear so you have to just follow this procedure for, for first row of first matrix and first row first column of second matrix clear first row first column this is the first value first row second column that is the second value first row third column that is the third value clear so you have to follow this procedure and you will get the answer like 0 0.600 0 0 0 0.60 and 20 16.8 and 1 this is the multiplication of last two matrix clear now you have a just two matrix so you have to just multiply these two matrix clear and you have, this is your final answer if you multiply these two matrix and you will get the answer like 39.2 31 72.8 28.8 1 39.2 66 and 1 this is the new coordinate of scaling uh, new coordinate of triangle after scaling clear before scaling we have a, a coordinates like 32 22 88 20 32 82 after scaling the coordinate of a dash b dash and c dash that is 39.2 30 72.8 28.8 39.2 and 66 for the more clarification you have to plot both triangle in one figure in one cartesian system like this clear okay so this is the uh, figure of our graph of this uh, scaling triangle now original triangle is abc center point of triangle is x and we do scaling 0 0.6 about point x now value of scaling factor is less than 1 that means the size of triangle is reduced so new triangle that is a dash b dash and c dash you have to plot this triangle according to the value and you, you can see in this figure the triangle size is reduced so this is the simple numerical based on geometric transformation of scale clear so in uh, next lecture we will solve one more numerical uh, regarding uh, rotation for the anti clockwise rotation and for the clockwise rotation